Welcome to another OpenTunes tutorial. In this video, we'll be using the in-betweening tool to create automatic in-between frames um, between just two drawings. So in this case, I drew a, a star. I actually drew it twice and just sort of created this interesting little star animation. But all I really did was drew two different uh, drawings and then used the in-between tool, which is holding down the Shift key so selecting a frame, holding down shift and selecting another one and these options for in between appears. So I'll show you how to use that. It's all all this magic is happening in the levels, not in the X sheet in the timeline in the X sheet timeline. It's happening in the levels timeline, I guess you could say. So to get started, we're going to go to a new scene and go just discard all changes here. We'll have a fresh brand new document and it has to be a vector level. So if you just start drawing, it'll be that at least by default unless you've changed it. Um, Otherwise, you can go to New Level, and we'll just say Tunes Vector Level. This does not work in Raster because it works off of the points. So if we draw something, for example, well, we'll just do, yeah, here's a good one, a line, and we come over here. We have we see we have two nodes. We have uh, this node right here, and we have this node right here. And so when we draw our next thing here, we can turn on Onion Skin. We just want to make sure that we draw it in the same direction. If we were drawing something else here we'd want to make sure we draw it from left to right. So if we want this thing to morph, which we can do, since we already have this one going, we'll grab the node tool. We don't have to use the node tool like this, but if we want this to kind of morph into this shape here, we need some frames in, some blank frames in between these two. So to do that, we can go right click and go to add frames. So we'll stay, we'll say starting at frame two, which will put them in between there. Let's add in just 10 blank frames. Now we have frame 1 in our levels looks like this and frame 11 looks like this. And onion skin right now is looking back to the frame before, but if I wanted frame 11 to be referenced to frame 1, I can hover over this little yellow dot appears and I can click. Now I can see what frame 11 looks like relative to frame 1. Frame 1 is in red, frame 11 is drawn normal in black. Anyway, to do the in-between frames, we'll click on frame 1 scroll to the bottom, hold down shift on the keyboard, and then left click on frame 11, uh, or whatever frame we want to, to have in between, and this option comes that says in between. It appears, we can click on any one of them, the last one, any of them in the middle, doesn't really matter, we just click on one of them, and then we choose the interpolation. We did a video on this um, a, a few back. Linear just means it'll be steady, constant. The ease in means it kind of gains momentum as it goes, but we'll just do linear for this one. Now we see we have a nice little little in-between transition without having to draw all of these different ones. So this works really nice. Maybe um, I'll show you an example here. Let's go File. Uh, let's just do a brand new one again. Maybe if we want to draw a character, so we draw, oops, I'm on Shape. Let's do a circle. So we've got this uh, character here. Let's do a little nose here. And then for the mouth, we want to come over on a new level and let's draw the mouth and let's start it out maybe like something like this with a circle and then if we want this mouth to be doing something we just come down here we give us like maybe 36 frames but on the mouth one we'll come over we'll right click let's go add frames and from 2 we'll add to 35 that'll give us 36 frames total and then we look at the first one we scroll down to the very or maybe we want to do it to the middle here about let's do something like um, 18. We'll see. We'll turn on the onion skin right here so we can see what it looks like. By this point in time, we want that mouth to be maybe we can just draw another circle and have it be like this. And then we can come in and adjust it. We want it to be not quite so round. We want it to be more like have some character to it. That might be too big, even. We can look at it. But let's say we want it to look like this by this point in time. So all we have to do is click on this, that's going to be too big, and then shift click and do the in-between. And we can do, maybe we'll do ease in on this one, and we want to come back to here. Oh, and for our last one, let's copy what it looked like originally. So control C to copy this, go down to the very end and go control V, and then we can uh, shift click here, or and ease out. Okay. So what this did, it created this sort of like, uh, that's almost happening too, yeah, too much. So to get this animated uh, mouth over into our drawing, 
we just need to uh, let's come over to that level see we select the first one go all the way down to 36 hold down shift select the last one and we can either drag and drop it right over to this column here or we can just go right click expose in X sheet and that'll put it over here we can get rid of this column too since it's a duplicate now and now we have this it's probably gonna come outside of the yeah the head a little bit so the easiest fix for that for me is just gonna be to scale this head up a little bit <laughs> in this case that will work for us there we go so we kinda of have like a little talking mouth there a little bit so that's just an option and we can apply this to eyes mouth different things but something to be aware of if we do try to apply this I'll just do a new level real quick if we try and do something too um, complicated um, like this E here if we just want to draw like a guy and we're like hey let's have this person walk and you know end up over here with their hands above their head so if we get too much going on we kind of have to engineer it differently so if we want if we want to try and in between two things like this that are very very different we'll go add frames we'll say from two let's add in 15 frames add and then we can if we try to in between these two now it's going to create some kind of strange results so it kind of works it, it does it does its best you know i think because i drew it in a similar order but it doesn't quite know what to do with that head why am i down here so we've got the head comes and like lands into the there and then, then the head just appears so it does some kind of strange things if you're if it's too complex so just be aware of when you're drawing like where you start because this start point will be re related to the start point of whatever you're merging into so if you kind of draw a star like this and then you like like I showed in the beginning and then if we change and redraw the star starting at this point it's going to create some different uh, in between frames for us than we're than you might be expecting so play with in betweening it's a good way to learn how it works um, hopefully you found this video informative don't forget to like comment subscribe uh, leave your questions below if you have any and i'll catch you in the next video